Hey all, we did make it to 500 subscribers, so this sealed PlayStation 2 Grand Theft Auto 3 will be given away on January 31st, and all you gotta do to be in the sweepstakes is comment Grand Theft Auto below and make sure you're a subscriber. Thanks for joining me on Gravy Flips. As you can see on the table, we have the remnants of a $10,000 Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Wii and Wii U collection. There's some awesome Amiibos, Zelda accessories. So if you're a Zelda fan and you really like checking out, buying, reselling, and collecting, you're definitely wanting to see everything that we got in this one-of-a-kind, super special Nintendo Switch collection with a bunch of Pokemon and Zelda items. And stick around to the end to see the secret item that I highly recommend that you buy and flip to make really quick and easy money. Now we tools and gravy flips are sent, so chill. Spanish games, Pokemon cards, every flip is a thrill. Vintage Nintendo vibes, the treasure to unfold. Dreaming collectors, masterpiece, standing silver into gold. Hey there, Gravy Flips fam, and welcome back to another exciting episode to go through a monster part two of a $10,000 Nintendo collection that I bought. This is where we go through a lot of the really cool items that were for the Nintendo Switch. I have around 100 games that were sold to me in the collection. A lot of them are still sealed. So if you want some flipping advice and to see what I got in the collection and to really check out how much I expect to earn and how much I expect to make from, from this collection, or you just wanna see the awesome uh, video game goodies, feel free to stick around. In addition, I'm going to be telling you a really awesome secret about how you can make some money really quickly by not flipping just video games, but a secret item that I often look for when I'm out and about. Not just, it's not furniture, it's something that you can get and flip really quickly. So stick around to the end if you want to find that out. But welcome back to another awesome episode of the video game collecting, reselling, and buying channel that is Gravy Flips, where we come together to earn some extra gravy and make some extra money in our side hustle. Check out this collection, y'all. Okay, let me give you a quick little video of everything that I bought in this collection. You know, for starters, we have the the Switch OLED. These still sell for around $250 on Marketplace, which is pretty cool. I have a complete in the box Switch, which are going for around $200 now. I've got two of these Pokeballs, and these actually sell for like $100. These are still new. We got a Charizard emoji, or a uh, emoji, Amiibo. It's pretty dirty, so I gotta clean that up. We have some unused Joy-Cons. We have a bunch of Zelda uh, controllers that I'll show you guys in just a second. But let me give you a quick tour of all the Amiibos that came in this collection. I absolutely love Zelda paraphernalia, but I am absolutely keeping this right here. This Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition. This is mine. Here's all the Zelda controllers that came in the lot. We have these here. Pretty cool. Isn't this the most awesome? I don't know if that's Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, it's Breath of the Wild. This is right here. I love that art. I have a book that has the same thing on it. And then here we have some kind of loot goblin. And then we have the Zelda Skyward, was it? Skyward Sword uh, Joy-Cons that came out. These are new. These are actually still selling for like $100 each, which is pretty awesome. And then over here, we have a Link Between Worlds strategy guide. It actually sells for like a hundred dollars pretty remarkable there is a i think this is the majora's mask one which is for the 3ds which sells for quite a bit this is a uh, pokemon sword and shield double pack i think it's still brand new but it looks like the seal's been broken uh these sell for like uh, about 180 dollars but i'm probably going to keep that just because it's something that's hard to find here's the scarlet and violet double pack it's still unopened believe it or not i have the 3d double pack uh, which is worth quite a bit. And then there's all the games I'm going to be bringing downstairs to show you guys what we have for Switch games because it's quite the collection. Let me move all this stuff here so I can show you, you know, just like the, the Breath of the Wild. I'm going to keep all these. Absolutely. This is my Zelda stuff. Like that's, those, isn't that beautiful? Look at the art on that. That is unbelievable. I think I saw this at Walmart a while back, but if you guys look over here, here's something... That's pretty cool. This is like a, a treasure chest. It is unglued, but it has a bunch of strategy guides in it. These sell for like three or $400. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. So I'm keeping like $1,000 of stuff out of here, but I'll bring all these games down so you guys can see them. Here is a complete in the box NES. And I'm not bringing all this downstairs because I'm, I'd rather my wife just like have a chance to grab what she wants and we can list them. I have a feeling that all these Amiibos are gonna be added to my Switch collection, and yeah, so let's get downstairs and we can check out some games. Actually, I'll just record it right here so we can just get through it. I don't want to bring these downstairs either. 
Uh, this is sealed. We have the Castlevania Advanced Collection, Marvel Alliance 3, Ghostbusters, uh, Triangle Strategy. What's this? The Doom Edition, the Doom Eternal Limited Run. It's like a $100 game. We've got Wolfenstein, Mortal Kombat 2, The Incredibles, Marvel Superheroes 2, Darksiders, Donkey Kong, uh, Tropical Freeze, still sealed, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, still sealed, The Starlink, Paper Mario, The Origami King, still sealed. As I said, a lot of these are still sealed. Uh, Lego Movie, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which is now getting close to a $100 game. We have Yoshi's World, Yoshi's World again. We have the Metroid Prime, still sealed, which is a great little game. Darksiders, Sniper Elite V2, Sniper Elite 4, the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, and Metal Gear Solid Collection. I think these are still sealed. They're just in a protector case. Super Mario Odyssey, still sealed. Breath of the Wild, opened. Sniper Elite Ultimate Edition, Alien Isolation sealed, Diablo, the Eternal Collection opened, Dragon Quest 11 still sealed. Let's keep going, I'm holding this with my hand, so Saints Row, I'm not using my tripod, Mario Kart 8, Turtles Shredded Revenge, the Turtles Cowabunga Collection, and the Capcom Fighting Collection still sealed. Okay, so moving on, we have Plants vs. Zombies, Lego City. Plants vs. Zombies, Bayonetta 3, still sealed, it's a cool game. Uh, Bayonetta 2, it's been opened, and we have Doom 64, the limited run, I know this game has value, it has been opened. In the last stack, we have Pokemon Diamond, The House of the Dead, this is like a 3D edition, I'd have to look at price charting to see what it's worth. Pokemon, go. let's go Eevee, Shining Pearl, Red Dead Redemption, still sealed. Let's go Pikachu, Bayonetta, the Castlevania Collection, a limited run game, Shadow Man Remastered. Most limited run games are worth something. We have a thick, a big box Turok game. It's pretty cool. We have Cruise and Blast, Darksiders 3, Darksiders Genesis, W2K18, Reflective Cover, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, with the Golden Country. We have Xenoblade 3. That's still, still sealed. Uh, one of the greatest games of all time, The Collection of Mana. Uh, this probably has The Secret of Mana right here, which is one of the best multiplayer Super Nintendo games. Octopath Traveler 2, still sealed. Octopath Traveler, sealed. And then Just Dance 2023, randomly in there. Mortal Kombat 1, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, right here. Burnout Paradise Remastered. Zelda Link's Awakening. Zelda Skyward Sword. A sealed copy of Tears of the Kingdom. A DC Super Villains, Villains, sorry, Tactics Ogre Reborn, a Square Enix game, Xenoblade Chronicles, a sealed copy of Xenoblade 2, here's another Doom game, Doom Slayers Collection, another Doom, another limited run, this one actually is another one that's sealed, NBA 2K Playground, and the last game in the collection is Ghostbusters the Video Game Remastered. And guys, I wanted to give you a, a quick tip of like what to look out for in your area locally. Uh, one of my favorite things to resell are saxophones. And it, if you can find these at a, especially the Yamaha brands, okay? If you can find these at a yard sale for between 100 to $200, and it's a Yamaha, all you have to do is look onto the back of it and you'll see a little code right here, right? You see how it says YAS23? That means Yamaha Alto Saxophone. If you're lucky enough to find a YTS, that means Yamaha Tenor Saxophone. And to see if these things work, you just have to look. You see that little uh, pink pad right there? You just wanna check the pads all the way up and just check all the buttons, make sure everything's good, it's down. Because these things, even untested and for parts, sell for between $350 to $400. When I was at my storage unit today putting away some furniture that I picked up, a lady who lived on the road had posted this on Facebook Marketplace for $250. I asked her if she would take $200. She brought it to me. And I'm going to sell this in this condition. This thing is like flawless. She said she just had it serviced. You know, it's got the reed right here. It has the, mouth, or the mouthpiece. It has uh, uh, everything it needs. This will sell for about $400 to $450. So if you can pick up saxophones, particularly the Yamaha brand, 
it's free money if you can get it at that 150 to 200 dollar range and two two or three times in all the garage sales i've been to i've actually been able to find these for like 60 bucks and if you look online if you look up yas-23 which is this exact model you'll see that they don't they don't go for less than 400 for parts you can get like 350 plus shipping but I expect this to sell for close to $450 since it's in like spectacular condition. So don't just do video games, guys. Make sure you're checking out other ways and other things to buy because knowledge is power when it comes to making money reselling. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering how much I paid, how much I expect to make. When I buy collections, I try to do kind of like the, the standard the standard in the industry is to pay 50%. This was $7,500 on price charting plus another like 2000 and change uh, that was added into the deal afterward. It was really around $10,000, uh, just a little bit more I bet. But in total I ended up spending around $4,400 and when all is said and done, $10,000 value is actually really easy to work with to explain values. Since I spent $4,400, that means that eBay is going to take 16%. And normally I, I include free shipping, so I'm gonna have to do like a $4 per unit charge. And since there's around 200 games in the whole collection, plus like maybe you know 50 accessories, I expect another thousand dollars just to go to shipping. So when I take out the 13% that is eBay fees, which would be $1,300, I'll add that to the 4,400, so that's 57. And then another thousand for the shipping costs. That puts me right around sixty-six hundred dollars in costs when all is said and done, including cost of inventory. That means that I'm going to make around three thousand three hundred dollars. So when people online think that paying fifty percent means that like you're ripping someone off, in all honesty, it really doesn't. Uh, you got to you got to front that money. You got to deal with returns. You got to deal with taxes as well. I'm going to get a ten ninety nine that says that I'm that I sold ten thousand dollars worth of stuff. I'm going to have to pay an accountant to do that, plus hold the money aside uh, if I don't reinvest into more games. You know what I mean? There's a lot going on, not, not to mention time and storage and insurance and all that. Uh, but returns are the real, the difficult part, because people like to rent video games, it seems, especially Switch games. 